Move over DoorDash and Uber Eats. There's a new food delivery service at the University of Minnesota. And this one doesn't need a driver. New this evening, WCCO's Derek James shows us how a roving robot will satisfy students' cravings. Curiosity on campus as students and staff get their first robot deliveries. Just some Chinese food. With a dose of Sabrina Carpenter. The robots are more than a novelty, they serve a purpose. We have a number of locations on campus that just don't have great accessibility to food. And when students and faculty and staff are on campus, they want to be able to have food in between tight class schedules. The robots, designed and operated by Starship Technologies, currently deliver from Panda Express, Starbucks, and Herbert and & Gerbert for $2.49 plus a 10% delivery fee. Anyone on campus can use the Starship Food Delivery app to order food and have it delivered. You can drop a pin anywhere that you would like to get your delivery. Users can follow the robot's location through the app after they place an order and use it to unlock the compartment with their food. Tell me about the technology that's working here. Plenty of sensors and cameras all the way around. Uh, extremely accurate. Of course, we have GPS. The robots use machine learning and AI to cross streets, make it up curbs, and avoid obstacles. They're able to run at night and in rain or snow. How much can it handle with the snow tires? I think we quote somewhere around four or five inches of snow. With it being the first day, the starships are still learning. I would have liked it if I didn't have to walk and meet it, but maybe they'll improve the technology for next time. With 11 robots to start, they had to temporarily pause some early orders to keep up. More robots will roll out by the end of the week to handle student demand. They're excited. Uh, they're happy about what the robots will mean for them as far as convenience, and we're really excited to see how well this will do. On the University of Minnesota campus, Derek James, WCCO News. The robots are part of a one-year pilot program approved by the Minneapolis City Council. As part of the agreement, they have a five-mile-an-hour speed limit, they must follow traffic laws, and a human can override the robot to control it.